My name is Li Ching Luo. I am a professor of biology at Stanford University and an investigator of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. In my lab, I lead research in studying how neural circuits are assembled during development and how they process information in adults. And also, I teach uh, to Stanford undergraduate students and graduate students neurobiology. I grew up in Shanghai, China. My first 10 years coincide with the Cultural Revolution in, in China. So at that time, there was no real studies. And my childhood dream was to become a bus driver in Shanghai. And uh, then, luckily for me, at, uh, when I was 10, Cultural Revolution was over, so there was a big emphasis on promoting science and science education. And that got me interested in science when I was a middle school student. I left Shanghai at the age of 15 to study uh, in college in University of Science and Technology of China. And then after I got my bachelor degree, I came to United States um, to attend uh, Brandeis University to get my PhD. Brandeis is a small but excellent uh, university in a subset of disciplines. And the neuroscience happened to be their strongest, um, one of the strongest disciplines. So I became uh, interested in neuroscience because of that. And in retrospect, it was a lucky accident because neuroscience, there's just so many unexplored interesting questions. And following that, I uh, did postdoctoral research at the uh, University of California, San Francisco, before I started my own lab and become a faculty member at Stanford University. I would say that the most fun part of my work is really to work together with very talented trainees, students, and postdocs who are working passionately and uh, work very diligently to solve um, mysteries of nature. When I started my faculty position at Stanford, I uh, was teaching a neurobiology class to undergraduate students and stu graduate students. And at that time, Richard Axel and Linda Buck just figured out the mechanism of how olfactory information flows from the nose to the brain, and for which they got a Nobel Prize. And I told the students that actually exactly how neurons from the nose connect with neurons to the brain, we know very little about. And then about a year or two later, we developed a new technology to address this kind of questions. And now dozens of papers uh, later and uh, 20 some years later, we are still using the fly olfactory system to explore fundamental questions of how neural circuits are assembled during development. We know a lot about individual sensory systems, vision, olfaction, etc., how they each work. But by comparison, how different sensory systems work together to give us an integrated picture of the world, we know really li very little about. That's why I emphasize in the frontier section about integration of multi-sensory systems with the hope that I, my writing can inspire a subset of students to choose those topics to, for their career of research.